everybody! I am going to do the chocolate chip mining experiment with you. You can see that I have my two toothpicks, my chocolate chip cookie, and some to eat later. Not all. And then my piece of paper just so that I'm not making a mess all over my living room. So, the first part of this experiment is the question. What is the purpose of this experiment? If you've read the document that you should have in front of you called Chocolate Chip Mining Experiment, you can see that we will follow the scientific method in this experiment. So we're going to examine how mining affects the earth. Let's imagine that the chocolate chips in this cookie are chunks of coal in the earth and that the cookie itself is the earth. So you can watch this video or you can do it along with me as you're watching and pause when I ask you to pause, please, and then write your answers in the template. So, my question is, what is the purpose of this experiment? Why are we doing this? Pause the video now and try to answer that question on your paper. Okay, so if you've come up with the idea and the question of how does extracting coal damage the earth or something similar, you're on the right track. That should be our question. How does extracting coal damage the earth? Well, we need to make a hypothesis. We need to make an educated guess about how we think this happens. So we use the if, then, because method to help us make a hypothesis. Right now, I want you to take a moment to pause the video and write, if we do something, then this thing will happen because, and say why. Take a moment and pause the video to come up with your hypothesis. Okay, so, what I came up with and what I'm thinking that we should probably use as our hypothesis is if we extract coal from the earth, coal being the chocolate chips here, then the earth gets damaged and is hard to repair, the earth being the cookies, because of the mining operations, which I'm going to do with these toothpicks. So your hypothesis should read like, if we extract coal from the earth, then the earth gets damaged and is hard to repair because of the mining operations. Hopefully we've got that written down. If not, you can pause and make sure you have it written down now. Okay, so now for the materials. You're going to take a moment, pause the video, and write down what you think the materials are. Hint, I already told you at the beginning of this movie, and they're right in front of me. Okay, so if you wrote down two toothpicks, one chocolate chip cookie, and a piece of paper, you are correct. That is the materials we are using today. Then, we need to do the procedure. So, the steps of the experiment are the procedure. We're going to do it step by step. Now, we can do this part together, and after each step, you can write it down on the paper. So, here we go. Step one. Get a cookie, got it. So step two, we are going to label this cookie as the earth. I'll write it, E-A-R-T-H, earth. Please remember that earth has a capital letter because it's the name of our planet. The earth, and I'm gonna put underneath, is the cookie in parentheses, like that. Step three, label the chips, which is actually really hard to do, so I'm just gonna draw a couple little chips on my paper. We're going to label the chips as the coal. And I'll put chips in parentheses, like that. So step four is to 
use the toothpicks to mine the coal, which is the chocolate chips, from the cookie, which is the earth, which is the cookie. So here I go. My goal is to separate all the chips from the cookie bits itself and try to use only the toothpicks, not your hands. You can see that the little bits of earth are still kind of attached to the coal, but I'm trying. So you try really hard too. Where that one went. Almost there. All right, I think that about does it. Now, step five, you need to observe. I mean, I know you were already just observing what happened, but now you can write down your observations. 